everyone and welcome to another art video. Today I am doing a drawing of a mythological creature which is the first one in a mythological creatures series that uh, I have planned out to do. And uh, out first is Norse mythology and uh, it's uh, a creature called Necken in Swedish or Nöcken Norwegian and it's a creature that when I research mostly comes from there the concept but you have also all the variations throughout old Germanic folklore and also Celtic that are similar to it but anyway I grew up with this folk tale I am from northern Sweden and uh, my grandmother is a bit of an old-fashioned uh, she believes in fairies and stuff like that or yeah not exactly like that but old old folk tales and old folk wars respects the nature and stuff like that anyway story about well the middle myth Around Necken is that it takes shape of a young man playing by the water, rivers, with a violin, and he lures young maidens towards the water, and when they get too close, he will drown them. And yeah, how my grandmother gets into the picture is because uh, she used to scare me with this creature. She said he would be sitting and luring by the water and when you least expect it, he would pull you under. And it was every time I was playing around the water because uh, I was spending a lot of time with her as a kid. and. Uh, her working place was by the water because she worked as a as a gatekeeper for the for the local church and i was i was spending time with her she was babysitting me and my little sister at the same time uh, while my mother was uh, studying but yeah, every time I wanted to play near the water, whatever, whatever it be, alone or with friends or whatever, she would uh, she would try to scare me with these stories, just so I would uh, stay away from the water. But yeah, of course, I understand in older age why you don't want little children to play around water. Obviously. And yeah, I also did some googling to get to know more about mythological creatures other than what uh, I heard from my grandmother about it. Yeah, I found an old tale from the forest of Tiveden in Sweden and it's a story about Nöcken and uh, water lilies which in Swedish are called Nekroser and some of the water lilies are white and pink and uh, the story tells pretty much how uh, the flowers became pinkish. I'll read it to you. At the lake of Fagetan, there was a poor fisherman who had a beautiful daughter. The small lake gave little fish and the fisherman had difficulties providing for his family. One day, as the fisherman was fishing in of oak, he met the Nöcken, 
offered him great catches of fish on the conditions that the fisherman gave him his beautiful daughter the day she was 80 years old. The desperate fisherman agreed and promised the neck and his daughter. The day the girl was 18, she went down to the shore to meet the neck and the neck gladly asked her to walk down to his watery abode. But the girl took forth a knife and said that he would never have her alive, then stuck the knife into her heart and fell down into the lake, dead. Then her blood colored the water lilies red, and from that day the water, lily, the water lilies of some of the lake's forests are red. So yeah, I am also curious to know uh, if you guys grew up uh, with any folk tales, something similar to what I told you. I would love to hear them. Um, so if you have done that, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. I'm really curious to know if anyone else in this day and age <laughs> grew up with stories like that and yeah besides uh, Norse mythology do you guys also have any favorite mythological creatures I would love to hear that too I am going to let you enjoy the rest of the video and I'll return to you again towards the end of it and if you've been watching so far, thank you so much. And if you keep watching towards the very end, I am so, so, so very grateful. It means a lot. Thank you. And yeah, so here I'll hear you again in a moment.
and I'm back. First of all, I need to say thank you, thank you so much for making it this far to the video. It means it means a lot. To me. Materials I've used are listed in the description box below. Don't forget to leave a like if you like it. I hope you like it. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer it as fast as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I see you in the next one. Bye bye!